911. That's a number you can call whether you need help with a shelter, food, or even a job. It certainly is, and it should be no surprise that in this tough economy, the United Way's 211 operators are being overwhelmed with calls. CBS 46's Harry Sandler is here with more on what the United Way needs. Harry. Well, I tell you, if 211 could call itself, it would. Right now, the United Way needs money. Last week, 211 here in Atlanta set a record 3,700 calls in just one day. Like I said at first, I thought, oh, this will be easy. I can just go out there and get another job. But Aoife Lima Young is one step away from living under an overpass. This is not where a mother of three, a grandmother of one, wants to be. Who does? When a person calls, they're almost in a panic. Good morning. Thank you for calling United Way 211. This is Maria. How may I help you today? Good morning, Maria. Uh, I was trying to find out where a food bank is. Epilema is one of thousands of Metro Atlantans now out of work. They are calling United Way's 211 helpline. Operators there try to find one of its 4,000 nonprofit partners who can help. And many times, thanks to this economy, they can. They are all hurting, yeah. All of our nonprofit partners say that they don't know how they can meet the demands on their services. Everything was fine when United Way started its annual fund drive last summer, and then the market crashed. The only thing up, the number of calls, 42% in November. It's like you're panicking, but you have a calm person to speak to who thinks of all the other things you're going to need. So now, United Way has started a critical needs campaign, trying to find enough funding to keep the nonprofits alive. Aoife Lima is fortunate. 211 found her family a shelter, but she still can't find a job. Even though things were, they, they have been worse, they're looking better. In this economy, and at this time of year, $82 million is a lot, but that is what the United Way needs to keep all of these organizations funded. You can go to our site if you do want to help. That is CBS46.com. Harry Samler, CBS46 News. Thank